Hello world, welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the reverse engineering challenge picker two. Let's get into it. Can you figure out how this program works to get the flag? Connect to the program with netcat here. The program source code can be downloaded here. All right, let's go ahead and connect to the netcat portal. And unlike picker one, we don't have anything prompting us what to do. So let's go take a look at the source code. Down here we can see user input equals blah, blah, blah. If filter user input, evaluate user input. So the difference between this one and picker one is that we actually have a filter here that's more than likely going to prevent us from actually just executing whatever functions we want to. So we're probably gonna need to find a way to bypass that filter. We can see the filter right here and we can see that if when is in the user input, then it'll return false and then it'll print out illegal input. So let's go ahead and test that out. If we type in when, it says illegal input. Well, as long as our input doesn't have when, we should be able to still execute whatever we want to as long as it's some kind of function. And that being the case, let's scroll up and see what the when function is actually doing. It's opening a flag.txt file and reading it, and then it's stripping it, converting it to hex, and printing it out. Well, what if we were able to actually call the open flag.txt function? Let's test that out. So if we do open flag.txt r like so, says wrapper object is not callable because it's probably adding those two parentheses afterwards, which is messing it up. So let's try doing that with the dot read. And let's not put the extra parentheses on the end there because we know that down here, it's adding those parentheses to it. So let's try that. No error message. Okay, that looks good. So then how do we print it out? Well, funny thing is if we run the print statement on our open flag.txt r, and we can go ahead and add our parentheses there, it'll still execute whatever's in the print function and then probably throw a little error saying some kind of syntax issue was going on because of the two parentheses that it would add on afterwards. It will still execute this statement though and you'll see it here in just a second. And there's our flag. Filters fail code refactor might succeed. So we'll copy that. Oh, and you can see your error from the none type object not callable. And that error again is because it's trying to put those two parentheses afterwards and that's not valid Python syntax. So let's go paste that in and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below and leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.